Hi, how are you? Ken Artisan here. Thursday, July the 15th, 2021. Episode 50 in my guide of baseball players who made the Hall of Fame because of their career achievements, accomplishments, and stats that they compiled. Episode 50, Zach Wheat. Have you heard of him? I haven't heard too much about him until I read the Baseball Hall of Fame book and all the inductees. So when I got to Zach Week, I looked at it, 19 years, 2,410 games, 10,000 at-bats, 2,884 hits, just about 116 shy of 3,000. If I was him, I would have played one more year to get that 3,000th hit. 476 doubles, home runs, 132, RBI, 1,200. But here's a good stat. Lifetime batting average, 317. So he made the Hall of Fame, why? Played for the Brooklyn Dodgers, right? Now, Brooklyn's Super Puffs, 1909-1927. Book and Robbins, that's what it says here on the, uh, the stats. Brooklyn Robbins. Hmm. But that was part of the Major League Baseball system, professional baseball. Played from 1909 to 1927. Let's look at his career. 26 games in 1909, 31 hits, bats 304. He only had one, no, he had two 100 RBI seasons. And he had two 200 hit seasons. But what did he do to make the Hall of Fame? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen times over three hundred batting for the season out of nineteen years. I keep telling everybody, if you can do ten of them, you'll make the hall. He has fourteen. His second year, 172 hits, 284. Third year, 153 hits, 287. His fourth year, he's 24 years old, 138 hits, 305 batting average. Next year, 161 hits, 301. Next year, 170 hits, 319. 1915, he's 27. 136 hits. 258, so he dropped off. He had three 300s in a row, dropped off the 258, but he came back. I like that. You may have a 250 batting season. And what do you do the following year? Well, what did he do? 177 hits, 312 average. Next year, 113 hits, 312. 1918, he's 30 years old. 137 hits, 335 average. 1919, 159 hits, 297. 1920, 191 hits, 328. 1921, 182 hits, 320. 1922, 201 hits, 335 average. 1923, misses about 50 games, but still gets 131 hits, 375. But here's his best year, 1924. 624 at-bats, that qualifies. 212 hits, 375 batting average, and 624 at-bats. And what does he do the following year? 671 hits, 221 hits, 359 average. 1926, 38 years old, 119 hits, 
290 average. And then his last year, 1927, he's 39 years old, 80 hits, 324. So he finishes his career, 2,884 hits. Zach Wheat, 172, no, 132 homers, 1,200 RBI, 317 lifetime batting average. This is an old school ball player, right? 1909 through 1927. 317 batting average, 10,000 at bats. That's how you make the Hall of Fame. 14 times out of 19 years, batted over 300. So I felt to give Zach Wheat some recognition in my episode guide. Who's next? Have you heard of Goose Goslin? I didn't until I read the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame book. I recommend everyone should read it. So I'll deal with him in my next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.